everybody, Elisa here with another Vera Bradley bag of the day. Today I thought I would show the pattern Bon Bon Medallion. I always have to stop myself when I'm going to say that pattern name because I always want to say Bourbon Medallion for some reason. <laughs> I guess I need a drink. Um, anyway, this is a uh, a pattern that they did show us in the focus group that I'm in a while back. And they show us the pattern surveys, and this is in it. And I, I was intrigued because I did like the, uh, the colors, but I'm always a little nervous with a medallion uh, pattern that it's going to be problematic to find it. The pattern placement is going to be challenging, getting it not look awkward. But what I've um, realized with the larger medallions is that that's less of an issue. When the medallions are smaller, it's more of an issue. Um, and then things kind of look a little, can look awkwardly placed um, when the fabric is cut up and put together to make the bag. But, but here, I feel like um, it just becomes some abstract pattern and it's still interesting looking and it doesn't tend to look awkward. I am pleased I got one of the big medallions here. You can see it and a section of one here, of it here, up here. Um, but it doesn't matter where they are to me. You can almost see it a little bit better on the back. I mean, I almost prefer them off center rather than uh, having one, you know, smack in the center like a bullseye which would just be too kind of perfect and precious. I feel like it's a little bit more interesting this way, especially because the, what would technically, I guess, be the negative space in between the medallion pattern, so stuff like this and like this, it's also creating nice shapes, and there's interesting details going on in there. You know, the whole thing is made up of such tiny details to get that overall large medallion. We just had a blanket, a blanket chewing incident, so I'm a little nervous. Um, so it is a little gray and rainy here today, but uh, the light, is, I, I realized the light was good for this particular palette in this bag, and so I thought I would do the video because it, the, the colors are coming out accurate. Got that sort of minty aqua color, this pale pink, the pale yellow, and then this, this sort of black um, details. What I also like about this pattern, um, the hair, dog hair in my mouth, <laughs> is that the there's patterns in between the medallions that are sort of uh, picking up what's going on in the lining, and I like that uh, cohesiveness. You know, there are some patterns where the lining just doesn't really even seem to have anything to do with the exterior pattern, and and this I feel like is like a more complete well-executed design idea with the lining sort of very related to the exterior. Um, also, when I saw this bag, I immediately thought this would be nice as a Disney uh, pattern if they like Disneyfied it. <laughs> um, because it reminds me very much of the old school patterns where the, they were like visual puzzles and the, and I've talked to you about this in my video for this bag. Um, I'll try to put a link. Um, or the, the, the Disney shapes, the Mickey heads and what other, whatever other, sometimes they're full figures in there, Mickey and Minnie figures and silhouette or whatever. And they're, they're small and they're worked into the pattern. They're not always small, but they can be small and worked into the pattern and you sort of have to look for them. And this reminded me very much of this. Um, this is Mickey and uh, Minnie Mouse medallion. And this is one of my favorite uh, Vera Disney patterns. You can see the medallion there. But you can see how the medallions are made up of these Disney shapes, the Mickey heads and uh, figures. And I think this would lend itself very well to that. They could do a Disney version of this. 
uh, of course, it would have to be approved. But it would be nice to, uh, for, to, for a change to get back to uh, that kind of the, the Vera Disney pattern rather than the ones that they're, they seem to be do, churning out now where the figures are large and very realistic and they're just plonked down on top of the pat, whatever the background pattern is. Um, so I think that would be nice. And they have, they have done that where they have a the straight Vera version of a pattern and then they, they have the Disney version of it, like Clementine comes to mind and I know there are others that I'm just not thinking of right now. But again, I just I just thought this would work really. This, this reminded me of this. And I think this would work really well in that, that way. So I don't have anything in here just yet. Uh, I wanted to turn it inside out to show the lining. Um, and then I could put my stuff in there like I always do. In case people um, haven't seen some of the other Vera videos, I have a slew of them now, but your, your basic measure, it's a big bag. That's just, you know, there's just no getting around it. it, it it's, a, it's a big bag. I think it's a, about 17 across the top. And if you measure the body across from side seam to side seam, um, I think it's about 18 or 19 inches. So it picks up just a little bit, uh, a couple of inches there. A top to bottom, I think it's about 14, and the strap drop is 12. It has on the front, you know, the standard setup of the slip pocket with the zipper pocket on top, the slightly recessed zipper, and then that hidden uh, slip pocket up there, which is nice, also lined in the matching, you know, the interior lining. And the inside has the six generous slip pockets. And this, you know, this is nice, this lining, because it's not so dark that it, the bag becomes a black hole. So very nice. Just show it up, show the pattern up close again. That's, a, you know, the space in between the medallions. Very accurate color here. The color is good here. Yeah, I look dark. The room looks a little dark, but the fabric's coming out well, which is what's important. Sort of like looking through a kaleidoscope. Very psychedelic, man. <laughs> Groovy. <laughs> Dating myself, although I'm a little, I'm a little post that generation. Just, just, just post. Something fell on the floor. I wonder what that was. Something for, something for me to worry about my dogs eating later. So inside, like I said, the six big slip pockets, um, three on each wall of the bag. Yeah, there you go. That's accurate right there. Oh, a little dark. There we go. So same color scheme, you know, that same gray and that sort of pale aqua, the pink, sort of a coral. I really get a sense of that sort of the pink and the coral there. So I, I really like that very much, uh, that the, the lining picks up some of the motifs from the exterior and does it so nicely. And then, of course, since it's fairly dense, the, the pattern on the lining and light, uh, it reflects light. So that, like I was saying, that the lining, the, the bag doesn't become this black hole when you're putting your stuff in it. Should mention I, I have washed a bunch of my Vera's, including a performance tool. For the first time, I washed a performance tool Vera yesterday. It came through fine, really beautifully. I have to do a video on that one. Um, but I have washed Vera's just like this. There's a base in there. It's somewhat, you know, it's malleable. It's not stiff like the cardboard like back in the day. But I find, and, and you'll see when I put my stuff in there, I never, and I've done this in a number of videos with heavy stuff, the bag, the bottom of the bag doesn't lose its structure too much. I feel like it doesn't 
sag at the bottom, even when there's weight in the bag. And this bag is a workhorse. I mean, I feel like when I know I'm going to need to carry some weight, this is the bag I go to uh, because it, I have it's sturdy and I have you know no fear that it's not going to hold up under weight. So I put my normal stuff in my GPS pouch and my uh, charger cord pouch, which I, is a medium cosmetic that I use. And the Midtown cosmetic um, for my gloves. <laughs> I'm using a Turnlock wallet right now. This is Clementine. I have to do a video on this. I need to do a video on this. I will get to that. Love that pattern. Um, and I, I, I like the Vera Totem that I can go with a big, super big wallet too. This mask stuff, I just slip in one of the pockets. And uh, hand sanitizer. And that's part of, I've, I've mentioned this in other videos, but that's part of why I like this um, bag so much for coronavirus stuff is because the interior slip pockets are generous and deep. And so it accommodates that sort of taller hand sanitizer bottle that I have really well. And my iPad mini fits in one of the other slip pockets, just fits right in there perfectly. Uh, cell phone, uh, Carson cell phone crossbody. Speaking of Disney and Mickey, I switched out the other day to this. This is uh, Whimsical Paisley. Blowing out, blowing out. There we go. I like this one, even though it is one of those patterns where the figures just sort of are sort of resting on this underlying pattern. It's blowing out a little bit. There we go. I do like this because I like those paisleys. They look sort of put down with like a wash of color, very loosely. That reminds me of, you know, like hand drawn uh, artist renderings. Let me get a little bit of the castle there. This is a nice pattern too. This is a whimsical balloons lining with the Mickey shaped balloons. And so I just use the car. I take the straps off my Carson cell phone crossbodies because I just use them as like added protection around my phone in the bags. Um, and then so I know exactly what I'm looking for when I'm reaching for my phone. It just, you can see it in there, slips in there nicely. In the in that pocket. And my uh, ID cases with various photos and lanyards. <laughs> and oh, another lanyard with store discount cards. <laughs> That'll just stick in a slip pocket. And I'm using a mini dome for tissues and lip gloss and stuff. Okay, so it's all loaded up, and I'll just I can put it on and stand back so people can see if they if they don't have a sense of the size. Um, but I always do this in my videos with the Vera tote, and you know it's gigantic. <laughs> and I like this. Not uh, what's interesting, and you can see when I stand back with this pattern. Oops on the floor, <laughs> um, is that you can't see maybe all the individual details, but you can see the large medallion motif. And yet it's a soft, the color palette is soft. So the whole bag is a very soft look. It's not a loud bag that's screaming out, you know, the pattern. I like it very much. I think it's very delicate, the pattern itself. Get that other medallion there. And other pieces of the medallions here. I find this bag very comfortable. Um, the straps stay on my shoulder well and they're they're comfortable. And when this one does tend to slip off every now and then it'll slip off. I just sort of layer the straps like that and it stays in place, no problem.
So you can see it is big, sticks out. <laughs> sticks out from my body a bit. And I do feel like, I, I said that I say this usually in my Vera videos, my Vera tote videos. This bag definitely looks better with a lot of stuff in it. When, when you have this big, super big bag and there's not a lot of stuff in it, then the bag kind of looks like a big flat pancake hanging by the side of your body. <laughs> and it doesn't look as great. But when you've got stuff in it, you know, it does, it looks good, I feel like. It looks much better. So anyway, that was it. Just a, a quick one today so people could see the pattern one more time. Get up, try to get it up there. I definitely could see myself getting more in this, um, but I, this is probably the one item where I wasn't so concerned. I wasn't so worried. I thought my chances of getting decent medallions would be, medallions would be good. I, I was thinking maybe it would be nice to have this in a Glenna, which, you know, I'm surprised to hear myself say. <laughs> but then I feel like I might want to see, pick it out in person because I would want to get a chunk of the medallion on the front there. I would want, and that's a, you know, it's a little bit smaller bag, so it might be a little bit more of a challenge to get that, to find that. And again, the, ah, the details in between the medallions, very nice. I mean, it almost to me has like a, like it's Middle Eastern and also medieval influence with the medallion shapes and the intricate detail work within the larger uh, medallion sort of structure and the repetition of the pattern in a very geometric kind of way. That to me is very Middle Eastern um, and also like medieval with the stained glass windows and stuff. It was very, very uh, beautiful pattern and I love the subtle palette, the subtle colors. Doesn't have to scream out at you. Still works very nicely. And like a good neutral, you know, it will go with a lot of stuff without being a solid color. So anyway, I hope people found that helpful. Uh, look at Bon Bon Medallion, not Bourbon Medallion. <laughs> I'm gonna go get a drink after I make this video. <laughs> anyway, hopefully see you next time on Vera Bradley Bag of the Day. Okay, don't jump. Don't jump.